this is Jeannie Kim. All right, <laughs> cheer. <laughs> the farm is busy. Yeah? What are you doing? I have 130 chickens. I am fencing like mad. Whoa, uh, whoa. Keeping out the predators. You know, we have bear and eagle and coyote. And With 130 chickens, they smell them. Bob, cat, and... Yeah. Are you doing poultry tractors, or are you doing that? No, I build solid, huge stick frame houses and I move them and put up new fences for my chickens so they're always on green pasture. So do the chickens play a role in these mushrooms at all or do you keep them separate? They will, but right now they're separate. I haven't got enough mushrooms to share. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about these mushrooms that you brought in today. These are some of the mushrooms that I have grown in my greenhouse um, that I, I have a home delivery service that uh, I make the rounds and sell eggs and mushrooms. And you must feel so loved when you deliver these things. <laughs> they People are must pretty just popular. Go, Whoa, <laughs> look at this woman. How does she do it? Yeah, they are, they are popular. So walk me through what the season is to grow these mushrooms. What do you do? Well, I guess the, at the point where they're cultivated, there isn't any season. You can choose your season. It's just a matter of feeding them. And when they've eaten, when the body of the fungus has eaten, it will produce a reproductive body, the mushroom. And you're growing them in the greenhouse? In the greenhouse. In and the shade. And what do you feed them? They eat straw and grains. No Lots kidding. Lots of water. Whoa. So what is this white variety that we have here? What's that called? This handsome thing is the lion's mane mushroom. And this is a shiitake, which is quite lovely. That is the most gorgeous thing. Oh, no, turn it back over again. That is the most gorgeous thing. It just looks like the best part of suede or leather <laughs> or, I mean, it's amazing. These are the, the gill plates. These produce the spore, which is the seed of the fungus. This one, on the other hand, produces gill tubes and the spore will fall out the tube. Wow. How long would it have taken you to do, grow that mushroom? Oh, from spore to fruit here, probably three or four months. If I buy one of these from you from Three Sisters Farms and I take it home, how do I begin to prepare this for my family? I start simple. When you're unfamiliar with a new food, start very simple. I would start by slicing it fairly thin mm -hmm. and frying it. Um, that way you get, a, you get a feel for the taste and the texture. Mm. Uh, maybe a little salt, maybe a little pepper. Fry it in a little olive oil and butter, perhaps. Mm. And that's, that's pretty simple and basic, and then you, 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 you get a sense of it, and then you can explore after you are familiar with it. Between your description of butter and salt and pepper and the earthy smell mm. that I'm getting from here, it's like, I want to go home and eat it right now. <laughs> <laughs> How long could I keep something like this for my family if I had because I'm buying my uh, best friend and banker over for dinner. The, How long would I keep this? They'll keep several days, maybe up to a week, perhaps, in the refrigerator if you keep them moist. And wow. I keep them in a paper bag. They breathe a little. You wouldn't want to put them in plastic. They'll melt. This looks like it's been cut off or... Mm -hmm. it, so is it a... How large is the this, whole plant? This is the fruiting body. This is like the apple on the tree. It's not the organism itself. The, the fungal body... I grow them in a plastic bag, so they have the grains and straws, and they live in a plastic bag. And I wow. cut a little hole in the plastic bag, and this one in particular will hang from the side like this. This oh. would be a, a mushroom that you would find in a tree. And they, they grow native here, in the forests here, and you can pick them. Really? They are one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. They are quite lovely, and the, the aroma is intoxicating. Yeah. I can see why the They're French love them. Very sweet, oh, they're just, delicate. But they're, but they're not a, a soil smell particularly. They're just this natural. There's there's a phrase of, for a, um, the soil right after a fresh spring mm. wind or rain, and it's when there's really desert soil that's really dry in that spring. And I can't remember the name, but that's it's like patois, but it's a little different. I am so proud of this mushroom. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> I am proud because I know what it takes to be a young woman to move to the community, get married, put down your roots, and literally grow fruit for the rest of us. And Thank I'm, you. I'm very touched that you brought it by today. It's Thanks. really good. Yummy. Nice, my God. Nice,